was in a dollar store and I found this. Now, it's listed as metallic glass gravel. And it's a green colour, as you can see. But what I thought I'd do is maybe crunch some of it up and then paint it black or grey uh, to look like coal or gravel. So let's get it out and have a look. So I've added a couple of uh, figures uh, just to give it a, a bit of scale. And it's probably too large and would would look much better if it was sort of a fraction of that size. Um, <clears throat> however, I could use some of them for large pieces of coal um, mixed among smaller sizes. But, you know, for two dollars, and that's quite a large size container, uh, you get this terrific addition uh, that you can use for all kind of things. Anyway, we'll have a go at crushing it and painting it and then we'll see how it looks. So that probably looks a bit more to scale and would probably look good uh, in a tender or around a, a coal merchant's yard. Um, maybe a little bit more of a hammering to get it into a smaller size but it's already looking pretty good okay so I've uh, painted uh, the, the coal black of course and then I've mixed up a little bit of white glue and water and I'm just going to drop some of it onto this old triangle tender and then put a few bits of it on there for effect. Anyway I think uh, you would agree that this has turned out quite respectable uh, it's a little bit wet right now, uh, given that, you know, I had just painted it um, and added the glue. So I think I'll do this with all my tenders and recommend that you visit your dollar store, pound store and pick up this $2 metallic glass gravel and crush it up to size and then paint it and and there you go you get a ready cheap supply of coal or gravel or iron ore whatever you want to use so i hope you enjoyed that bye for now